Hello, this is Travis Fitzwater with the Missouri Pharmacy Association. We just wanted to do a quick interview with our president of the association, Ms. Sandra Bollinger from Sykeson, Missouri. And we're just going to talk about the importance of being a part of the political process as a pharmacist. So I'm going to ask her some questions and let her introdu introduce herself. And then we will um, do a quick video on some, um, some of the important reasons why you should be involved as a pharmacist. So Sandra, why don't you introduce yourself? I'm Sandra Bollinger and currently serving as the president of the Missouri Pharmacy Association and I have um, a private practice that I own called Health Priorities Inc. in Sykeston, Missouri. It's a, a small rural community where it's, um, I'm licensed as a non-dispensing pharmacy. So I don't dispense medications but I focus on disease management and preventive health measures. So I'm, I'm very um, active politically just because of the nature of the business that I do. Great. Thank you very much, not only for your work on the political side, but as our leader of the association. You're really the face of the association um, for this year especially and for years to come, and we really appreciate that. First, what, why is it so important that a pharmacist is involved in the political process, not only in Missouri, but on a national level? It's very important, Travis, because right now, pharmacy, the face of pharmacy truly is changing, and the pharmacist role is becoming more clinical in nature as opposed just to, to the, the original um, image that we had of counting and pouring and just labeling bottles of, of medication. And so pharmacists are becoming a lot more active in the actual hands-on care of the patient. So we need to be actively involved politically to help define those laws that help us to expand our role and to be able to provide the services that are needed out in the community. So what are some steps that you take as a pharmacist yourself that you've taken in the past that have helped you to um, really affect policy um, on the state level? Probably the most important thing uh, that I've been involved in, uh, two years ago I, I was very active in helping to uh, put together the language for the Practice Act in Missouri and it, it was passed and it affords now, it affords pharmacists in Missouri the opportunity to administer flu vaccines um, per, per protocol and other vaccines by order of a uh, physician. So um, not only that, but it also has language in there to allow a collaborative practice agreement between physicians and pharmacists. So it's very exciting because that truly is supporting our expanding clinical role as pharmacists. Okay. Um, now, we were at the Capitol just today, and you testified on a bill, and we went to both your state representative and state senator's office, and it was great because right when you entered those offices, it was, it was like, we know who you are. They came and shook your hand, brought us, brought us into their office, and we had great conversations with them. Can you tell us a little bit about how you establish a relationship like that with your legislators and, um, and how you can start to, uh, to begin to do that, take, take that kind of action? Politically. Absolutely. And, you know, and first of all, if you've never been very involved in the political process, it, it is kind of a scary thing. So the, the, very, the very first thing that you need to do is even whenever your candidate is running for office, introduce yourself and kind of get to know, their, get to know them in, during the campaign process and become their friend. And then after the election, continue that and you know, give them especially policies or, or any kind of um, bills that are going to be affecting your practice, you need to stay in contact with them and that truly is how the relationships are formed. Whenever they make visits back to your hometown, invite them into your pharmacy to really observe what it is that you do on a daily basis. And you'd really be surprised that a lot of our legislators truly don't know what goes on in a, in a normal day in a pharmacy. And so if we can help educate them, um, they're, they're very, very willing to, to become, you know, involved in what our needs are. Sure. Well, we, we obviously see that it takes a long time to educate because pharmacy issues are confusing for legislators who have no idea what you're talking about. And it's, some of the legislation we pass has taken years because the education that is required um, on their part to understand the bill is ne necessary for them to make a decision on a vote or, or what have you. So obviously that relationship, the ability to have them come into your pharmacy and talk to you and see your patients and um, have an opportunity to, to kind of see firsthand what you do is, is really important so that relationship is, uh, is, is crucial. Um, just as a, as a final note, what would you say has been the, 
absolutely the most important action you've taken on the political side in your practice um, as a pharmacist? The most important action, I think, probably was becoming involved politically, especially with the Practice Act, because that directly affects my preventive health um, practice with my patients and so helping to make sure that my needs were going to be met and that I could legally administer vaccines and take care of my patients was so important. Sure. Well great. Um, again this is Travis Fitzwater with the Missouri Pharmacy Association with our president Sandra Bullinger. Um, we just wanted to stress the importance of being politically involved and how a grassroots effort is what gets things done here in Jefferson City, Missouri and in Washington to protect the, the practice of pharmacy and to ensure that there is a future there for not only the kids in college that are uh, looking forward to becoming a pharmacist, but also um, uh, some of the folks that have been in for a long time and are, are wanting to sell their pharmacy to someone they trust that will run it and care for patients in the way that they need. So thank you again, Sandra, for coming to You're Jeff welcome. City and uh, please get involved.